Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, July 19th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Our first scene URL feature did uh, discover an interesting attack today against the Staggle navigation for Jira menus and themes. This is a plugin for Jira that does implement some sort of nicer design options for Jira, make it look prettier. Well, the problem is in March, there were two vulnerabilities disclosed in this particular plugin, CVE 2023-26255, as well as CVE 2023-26256. Both vulnerabilities are directory traversal vulnerabilities, just in different parts of the particular uh, plugin. And while well, this can be used to read arbitrary files on the file system of an affected Jira server. We see it being used to, first of all, read Etsy password, but then also dbconfig.xml password. The second file is used by Jira to store database credentials. So that's certainly something, if that leaks, that could potentially be a problem. And if you see the exploit URLs, well, it's a pretty straightforward. It's just a simple file name parameter that you have to hit with the right number of dot dots to basically end up in the root path. Since uh, this particular uh, vulnerability was made public, we sort of saw off and on a couple of hits against related war, uh, URLs. However, in the last uh, three days, it really sort of has taken off a little bit and reach the threshold where our first seen URL feature did uh, flag this as something new and of interest. And then some bad news for everybody out there using Netscaler ADC. Uh, today, Citrix uh, did release an update fixing uh, three different vulnerabilities. One that's particular exciting, I guess, is, is CVE 2023 3519. This vulnerability does allow for unauthenticated remote code execution. So something we had a couple times before with Citrix and Citrix ADC, but also something that has been exploited uh, quite a bit. This particular vulnerability don't have any additional details for it yet. The appliance must be configured as a gateway. So just setting it up as a simple web proxy isn't going to cut it. But if you're running like, for example, VPN virtual server, ICA proxy, CVPN or RDP proxy, or if you're running the AAA virtual server, then this vulnerability would uh, apply to you. And to make things even more interesting, looks like uh, this particular vulnerability has already been exploited in the wild. So something that you really need to patch quickly. Set up a couple of honeypots here looking for any exploit attempts, I'm not sure how targeted they would be. This particular vulnerability is an arbitrary code injection vulnerability. The other two vulnerabilities, well, approach escalation to root or administrator, NS root as Citrix calls it. And then there's also a reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability being patched here. And if you are using Google Cloud, you may be familiar with the Google Cloud build service. Uh, this is essentially a CI CD platform. You can run scripts to basically build containers for you or uh, manage sort of complex uh, software build uh, processes. Orca Security released a blog post showing an interesting weakness in this particular service that does lead to privilege escalation and to potentially affecting the artifact registry, which is where Google Cloud uh, keeps sort of its uh, bits and pieces that it uses to actually uh, build uh, your systems. The problem appears to be that the cloud build service account is being used to execute whatever you tell it to do. So if you're running a cloud build, builds create, which uh, will uh, create an image that is being executed by the cloud build service account, 
This can then be used to also download artifacts from the artifact registry, modify them and have the cloud build service back upload these artifacts back. And well, uh, then of course, by modifying it, you may be able to include malicious components. For more details, I highly recommend Orca's blog post. It goes into a lot more details, uh, how this exactly worked, how it can be exploited, what Google has so far done to mitigate this problem, and why this may not be perfectly uh, solving uh, the particular problem with the privilege escalation of vulnerability. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.